Hi everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda The Oracle of Seasons for the Game Boy Color Part 5. And in the last part we finished up Level 4 Dancing Dragon Dungeon. Today we'll resume the trade quest. And also fall down this cliff to get a piece of heart. Hooray! Another full-fledged heart container is mine. <laughs> and Link has beastlier defenses because of it. Alrighty, now to resume that trade quest. To do that, we gotta go back into this Subrosian portal. And we gotta find a certain Subrosian there to give this iron pot to. And we'll get soup for it, which will be great. Soup for the soul. Oh yeah. Alrighty, now let's whip out my rock's feather and make that jump. Don't take a lava bath, Link. Phew. Okay, now to get to that certain subrosion, we gotta go down here. And we gotta have this rock out of the way, so let's do that. And throw it in the pit of hell. There we go. And now let's get the Pegasus seeds out. And the rock's feather and make sure not to land in the lava or the pit. Can be kind of hard to stop yourself. There we go. Time my jumps beautifully there. All right, we gotta run up here through this door now. And out of here. All right, now I think we have to go north across this bridge. Watch out for the fireballs. All right, now we gotta press on this way. Let's leap over here and run straight up the steps. Uh, actually, wrong way. We actually have to go down, I think. Yeah, this way. And, uh, we gotta jump up here. And this is the, uh, cave we have to enter. Looks like a cave house or something, I don't know what it is. If I had all the ingredients, I could treat you to a tasty soup. But not without a fine iron pot that's been well seasoned. Hey, that iron pot is just what I need. A iron pot like that would make great soup. Leave it to me. Sure. Yes, leave it to me. Just wait. Is it tomato soup? Tink, clank, plop, plop. That's it! The lava and iron create a harmony of flavors. Your lava soup is ready. It's molten hot. And lucky for us, I know who we need to give the soup to. So now we gotta get out of Sabrosia. Hopefully I can find my way out of here now. Uh, let's see, will the staircase take us to a portal? Not really. That takes us to a dead end. Okay, hopefully I can get the hell out of here now. And back to the overworld. Oh, we're not gonna get there that way. Let's go around over here. Yeah, I think I'll backtrack the way I came. Might as well. Uh, let me see, let me see, let me see. We go down here? Nope, not down there. Yeah, it's gonna take me a while to get out of here, folks. I'm not very good at uh, finding my way through Sabrosia. I get lost very easily. Alright, let's go back this way now. And we should be coming across that portal. We gotta go back this way, though. And good to see that once you throw the rocks out of the way, they don't regenerate, so that's good. They stay gone. Alright, let's jump over here now. And let's skip that staircase already been down there. And back into the Subrosion portal, out. And now we return to Hollow Drum, down here. And now we're gonna go back to... Uh, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. I'm trying to remember what the next trade item is. Oh yeah, right, okay, yeah, actually it's in this area, so... We gotta go visit a giant Goron and give him the hot soup. Whip out my sword so I can kill enemies. I don't want to be defenseless here. Need something to protect myself. Die, you orange tech knight. Out of my way. Orange, you glad you felt my wrath. Ha ha ha. I know, bad joke. And go away, Maple. Don't want to deal with you. I'm not losing any more items. I just wanted to use Maple for the trade quest, and that's it. She served her purpose. I'm done with her now. Okay, watch out for the levers here. Now let's have another rock out of the way. Hwah! Come on, Blue Lever, get over here. Die. Alright, take him out. And now let's enter this cave and find the giant Goron. And I'm not going to really bother talking to these small Gorons. They don't give you anything noteworthy. Alright, let's go up the staircase here. And we got to make a jump over the lava again. Whole lot of lava jumping. Alright, now we got to go up here and talk to the giant Goron and give him that soup. I'm all stumped up. It's so cold. Do you have anything that can warm my body up? Mm -hmm. Oh, that sounds good. Can I have that soup? Sure. Mm -hmm. It's a harmony of flavors. Thanks to you, I'm a better. Take this as a symbol of my gratitude. You got the Goron vase as thanks for the hot soup. It's a very nice vase. Indeed. And I know exactly who we need to trade this vase to, so let's go to 
the sunken city. We gotta go back there again. Let's see. Kale seeds. And back to the sunken city. And we gotta go to... Yeah, where is sunken city on this map? Is it over here? No, that's school swamp. We don't want to go there. Uh, I think that's sunken city. No, that's woods of winter. Don't want to go there either. Sunken city. Yes, let's warp. Yeah, this is our next destination, folks. Now, let me get the rocks feather out so I can get my so I can swim faster. That'd be great. Come on, Link. We want to try to conserve time. We want to try to fit level 5 unicorns, Kaven. Okay, now we got to go into this house and give this guy the Goron Vase. Because this guy collects vases. All kinds of different... Well, all kinds of different ones. Shoot! That big Goron! No matter how often I ask, he won't give me his vase. I'd give him... I'd give my dinner for it. Fish! <gasps> that... That... That vase! Give me that vase, please! I'm begging you! Uh, settle down, dude. I'll give it to you. Yahoo! It goes right in my collection. And thanks. Here, take my dinner. My late... My last fish. You got a fish as thanks for the vase. It's market fresh. Mm, good. I love market fresh fish. Salmon. Salmon is pretty good. I also like flounder, too. That's not bad, either. Alright, now that we have the, uh... Let me see. What was it again? I got bad short-term memory. Ah, oh, fish. Okay. Now, what to do with this fish? Um... Trying to remember. And it's not coming to me at the moment. Oh, okay. Now I know. Alright. We gotta go feed that... We gotta go feed a certain kitty a fish. So, let's... Get out of this city. We have no more reason to be here. Okay, we gotta go back close to Horon Village, which is down here. Warp. Alright, and the old man and his cat will be somewhere outside this village. We should be able to find them over this way. Uh, actually, it might be... Uh, actually, it might be the wrong area. Yeah, I think it's the wrong area. We gotta go north. And there's Sakura singing a tune. Love this Horon music, uh, this Horon Village music, folks. Really addictive tune. Alright, out through the north here. And hopefully we find the old man and his cat over here. Yep, there they are. No! Ah! Can't believe I did that. Shoot. Reselect, uh, go back. I didn't want to do that. Let me change before I do it again. Oh, that was failure on my part. I right, talked to the old man. Look, no matter how much I call her, my precious mittens won't come down. If only I had her favorite treat, fish. Hey there, you have a fish. It's Mitten's favorite food. Is that for her? Sure. Oh, thank you so much. Mittens, here, Mittens. Meow. Mittens, oh, good kitty. Thank you. Oh, yes, a reward. Here, take this megaphone. Alrighty, we got the megaphone now. Epic. Alrighty, now we gotta go back to the mountains again, folks. So let's use the gale scene Alrighty, again. Alrighty, folks, I'm back. I had to stop and get a drink because my throat was bothering me. Anyways, let's resume the trade quest. I had to come all the way back to Mount Cuckoo. And we have to change the season to spring, too. Why, you ask? Well, you'll find out in a minute. No, we don't want it to be winter. We want spring. There we go. Alright, we gotta go over a couple screens now. We gotta find a flower. A shooting flower. It'll launch us to the top of the cliff right over here. And up here we find Talon, who's sleeping. And lucky for us, we got a megaphone so we can give him a rude awakening. So let's go for it. Just by talking to him. Zzz, the snow, it blocks the zzz. He doesn't seem to hear you. Wake him with a megaphone? Yes. Huh? What? Who? This won't do. I slipped clean through the winter. Now I can't get to the summit. Oh, well. I'll go back home to Malin. I'll take that megaphone if you don't need it. Have a mushroom instead. Who do you think I am, Mario? <laughs> Anyways, your megaphone is now a mushroom. It smells weird. I would imagine. Alrighty, let's get this chest and find out what's inside. Probably a ring. Yes, I guess right. Awesome. And we'll get it appraised later and find out what it is. Alrighty, now to progress with the trade quest after killing this like-like. Get him out of my way. Alright, now that we have the mushroom, we have to go back to Sunken City again. Yeah, I'm just bouncing all over the damn place in this episode. <laughs> Alrighty, let's go back to Sunken City now. Warp, let's go. Okay, now let me get my rock feather so I can swim through the water quicker. Come on, Link. Move fast. Need to cover more ground. 
Okay, we gotta go up here and to the right. Oh, I completely missed that spot. Oh, okay, I see what we need. We gotta make it winter. So let's go change the season once again. It looks like Queen Ambi is, uh, Queen Ambi certainly all over the place. Oh, uh, let's see. Let's get the Rod of Seasons out, make it winter. And now we can, yeah, watch out. Don't stand on that cracked ice for too long or it'll fall out from underneath your feet. And you'll drown. And Link doesn't like to drown. All right, Ambi, you got anything to say? But isn't this city so elegant? Perhaps I shall make my palace sunken too. All right, let's talk to the witch. If Maple were here, I'd send her to Mount Cuckoo for mushrooms. But since she hasn't come back, I can't make ma my magic potion. That's it! You've got a mushroom! I'll trade my wooden bird! How about it? Sure. You traded the mushroom for a wooden bird. It looks real. <laughs> I can finally make my magic potion. Guess I'll open the shop soon. Yeah, we'll come back to visit her shop later. If I ever run out of magic potion, which I shouldn't. Anyways, let's uh, use the Gale Seed and head back to Horon Village again. Yeah, we're just all over the map today. Literally. <laughs> okay, uh, let's find Horon Village here. Warp. Because the next person we have to trade to is going to be in this village. And we're going to meet the guy in this clock shop. Let's go. Because the old man here is looking for a fabulous bird. I want to make a cuckoo clock better than any before. But I can't find a wooden bird that I like. One that's just breathtaking. You! That's an amazing bird you have! May I? Sure. Breathtaking! Here, take this! You've got engine grease for your bird. Alright. And now with the engine grease, we gotta take it to the windmill guy. And we saw him a little while ago. Or a few parts back. You know what? I'm gonna stop at Vasu's and get my rings of praise first. Might as well. Since I'm passing through. Alright, Vasu, work your magic. Oh, I got five rings to appraise. Let's get on it. We got the Octo Ring Black. Don't really care for that one. And what do we got here? Appraise. We got the Red Holy Ring. No damage from small rocks. Okay, that's... I guess that's valuable somewhat. And we got Blue Joy Ring drops double hearts. Hmm. That might be useful too. And we got the Green Joy Ring. Fine double ore chunks. That might be good too. And last but not least, we have... The Subrosion Ring. Don't really care to become a Subrosion. Okay, all the rings have been appraised. Rings do nothing unless worn. Yes, I know, Vasu. You have beaten it into my head enough. Alrighty, now we gotta exit out this way. We gotta go find the windmill guy, and to do that, we go up here. And we gotta climb the staircase. Love the Song of Storms. Very epic music. Hey, you. Let's talk. Go around! Go around! If I could just oil it, it would go around more quickly. Engine grease? Will that make make it go quickly? Sure. Really? Take my phonograph. Yay, we got the phonograph. What a tune. Alrighty, folks. And we're at the end of the trade quest, pretty much. The phonograph, we don't, we're going to trade later to a Deku scrub in the Temple Ruins area. Or not the Temple Ruins area, some ancient ruins area. I forgot the... I think it was called Tom Ruins. I think, I don't know. Yeah, so we won't be able to trade it till we... We won't be able to get the uh, level 2 Noble Sword till we get to level 6. So we can't progress the trade quest anymore right now. So, so you know what that means, folks. It's time to go to level 5 now. So let's go. Oh, snap, it's raining outside. Man, that rain's beating against the window. Holy smokes. Alright, let me see. I gotta try and remember what to do here. There's actually some... Oh, yeah, we gotta get the last seasonal spirit. We have to get Autumn. Alright, uh, I think I know exactly what we gotta do here. It doesn't look like it because I'm zigzagging back and forth between screens. I'm kind of lost right now. And that thunderstorm outside, well, not really thunderstorm, a rainstorm kind of threw me off a little too. Just like, it really just came out of the blue. For a minute I thought I had window ninjas trying to break in or something. Alright, let's go. I think we gotta go around over here. I think we gotta slice through here. Yeah, we gotta go around this way. And we gotta go down here. Yeah, it's gotta be winter, so make sure it's winter when you go down here. And we gotta go over to the right. And we gotta go into the Subrosion Portal. And let's see where it takes us. 
boy. Oh my god, there's sheets of rain coming down out there. Good god. It is really downpouring, folks. I just hope it doesn't thunder, too. Simply divine, impeccably fine, gorgeous design, notably kind signs. You've broken one sign. How could you be so cruel? What's your obsession with signs, dude? Ay ay ay. Did he adopt signs? It looks like it, because he's got a million of them. Alrighty. There's actually something we gotta do. We have to find a bomb flower, so let's go get that. I actually remember this part pretty well. There's actually some subrosians trying to bomb a blockade out of the way, which is blocking the entrance to the Autumn Tower. So we need the bomb flower to get rid of those uh, rocks. Now watch out for those fire snakes. They'll try to knock you in the lava. Alright, we gotta cross over here. And there's the bomb flower. I think we need the power bracelet. Whoa. Yeah, watch out for the fire snakes fireballs. Uh, there's the power bracelet. Hey, we got the bomb flower. Handle it with care. That I shall. Alrighty, now we gotta find those certain subrosians back at the Temple of Seasons, so let's go. Watching out for the fire snake on the way back. Ah, oh, bitch. Friggin' knock me in the lava. Die. Alright, kill him. He's gone. Oh, those fire snakes can be a little annoying. Alrighty, let's go over here. And down here. And up here. And right, left. Oh, man. It looks like the rain finally stopped a little bit, thank goodness. Okay, now we gotta find the Temple of Seasons. And we gotta go back this way to do it. Alright, we gotta head this rock out of the way, so let's do that. Out of my way, rock. And now let's jump. Oh crap, I need the friggin' Pegasus Seeds. My single jump isn't enough to clear it. There we go, got it now. And now we gotta go down here, and this will take us to the Temple of Seasons. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Okay, now to find the Autumn Tower, I think we gotta go to the top left. No, actually, no, we gotta go to the top right. I'm mistaken. Yeah, we gotta go this way. Alright, now to, if you have the bomb flower, talk to this guy. Oh, that's a bomb flower! Thanks! Okay, let's break it. Ah! Uh, hopefully, I didn't get killed by the explosion. Whew. That was great! Now we have plenty, thanks to you. If you ever need it or melted, come to the furnaces. That I shall. First, I want to get my last season up. Damn it, jump link. I hit the button. You didn't jump it off, idiot. You need to listen to me, Keebler Elf. Alright, let's get that autumn spirit and get the hell out of here. I am the spirit of autumn. My turn has come. They say fall is lonely, but no. Pits are filled with fallen leaves and mushrooms are ripe for picking. When shadows fall on Hyrule, a hero shall appear. Is that hero you? Then I grant you Autumn's power. And with that, folks, we have all four seasonal spirits at our disposal. Now, the Rod of Seasons has the powers of all four seasons. This is all the help we can offer you, oh courageous youth. Did it all, Hollow Drum, are counting on you. I'll try my best not to let you guys down. Alrighty, let's get out of here. Try not to fall in the lava again. Alrighty, folks, now we can officially go to level 5 Unicorn's Cave and hopefully try to get it done in this part. We're already 20 minutes in, so I don't know. We'll have to see. Okay, how to get out of Subrosia now. I think I'll take the main portal out. Getting back to that other one's going to be kind of annoying. I want to take the quickest one out of here. Keep hopping, Link. We gotta move quicker. Yeah, you're gonna be coming through that cave a whole lot. So get used to it. Oh, man. Such a big place. Alright, where do I go to find a subrosion portal? I think I gotta go back this way again. Oh, backtracking a million thousand times here. Not too fun, let me tell you. Alright, back into the portal. And now I gotta get back to Horon Village again. So let's switch my Pegasus Seeds for the Gale Seeds. Oh. Alright, let's warp right back to Horon Village yet again. There we go, warp. Alrighty, now off to level 5 Unicorn's Cave we go. And I think to find it, we gotta, oh, we gotta go north, actually, not 
Can't take the right path. Yeah, I'm just gonna leap through the village. Actually, I'm gonna go visit the kid real quick. I wanna see how he's growing up. Hopefully he'll stop running away from me now. Or will he still be... Yeah, he's still emo. Whatever, I don't care. Let's go. Love humming this tune. It's very addictive. Okay, now let's press on to level 5 Unicorn's Cave. And to get to it, you want to go up here. Let's get the sword. Hack this bush away. And we actually have to go over here now. Kill the Octorox and get him out of my hair. And we gotta go up here. Oh boy, I'm starting to hear some thunder. I might have to cut this part off short. As much as I hate to do that. We gotta switch to our new season, Autumn. That's spring, we don't want that. Summer, don't want that either. Now we got Autumn, let's go. Now that it's Autumn, we have to go back into the water over here. And let's leap in here, swim. And now we gotta go over here. And we gotta press on north and kill this pig warrior. And watch out for the levers. Got a bunch of them all over the place. Yay, more hearts. I love. And watch out for the electric blob things here. And here we are, folks, at level 5 Unicorn's Cave. We just gotta work, get past all these mushrooms. If it's autumn, you can pluck them and throw them away. Alright, lift this up, get another heart. Alright, at full health. Here we go, folks, level 5 Unicorn's Cave. Hopefully we can finish it up in this part, that'd be great, but... I might have to cut it off halfway through. Especially if the thunder gets more intense, I don't want to risk leaving my computer on. The roast, that would not be good. And plus, the levels are gonna get longer, so... And Unicorn's Cave is gonna take a little while. Alright, let's kill these red gels. And let's go over here. Oh, we got a bunch of these, um... Uh, we got a bunch of these, like, Helmosaurs or whatever. Hel Helmosaur wannabes. You gotta wait till their back is to you and then smack them with a whirling blade. Or you can just wait till their back is to and just poke them. Or knock them in the hole just like that. That works great, too. Kill. Dear, 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 dear. Alright, let's go over here now. Yeah, that room I don't think has a key or anything, so screw it. Let's go up. Okay, can't move that ball. We can't... Uh, let me... Can I walk over it? No, I can't. Yeah, we need the magnetic glove to remove that metal ball. So we'll have to come back here later. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, Unicorn's Cave's got a pretty cool tune. Then again, most of the season has great tunes. Do, 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 do. Anything over here? Yes, there is. Uh, I think I already went... Yeah, I was already here. Okay, I'm going in circles. Failure. Come on, swim. Oh, God. Die, you bastard. Get out of my... Man, he's right in my face. Ugh. Right, let me get on the staircase. Hopefully there'll be something worthwhile up here. Or not. Might just be a gosh seed. No, with my luck. Or just a bunch of pots. Blech. Oh, man. Oh, great. Pea hats, too. Oh, man. Every annoying enemy in the book is here. Land pea hat. I want to cremate you with this sword. Alright, uh, I got most of my health back. Okay, let's go into this room. Uh, I got a bunch of carts here. Kill these Stalfos, get them out of my face. And I think we're going to go into this mine cart first. Yeah, we're going to go straight up here first. Go away, you bastard Red Zoles. Alright, let's get rid of these guys. Die. Die. Annoying geese. Alright, what's in here? Let's push this block, or not. Where this my dark nut, there we go, and... You know what, actually, I'm gonna go back and get that treasure chest that I didn't want to get before. I'm kind of lost at the moment. Let me see if I can push some of one of these blocks out. No, it doesn't look like it. Looks like that red soul's locked in. Good. He won't be able to bother me now. Yeah, I'm gonna go back to that room with the water conveyor belts. I'm gonna stay underwater and dodge these water tech types which are annoying the piss out of me. Oh, I really hate them. I don't think they like me much either. Okay. Oh, oh, oh god, oh god, that was close. I'm gonna try to bump this guy into the hole. Die. Right, get this stupid worm out of my face. Oh, I got a sense he's good. 
Alright, got rid of that guy. Good. Alright, now we're gonna go into this room and get that treasure chest. I think there might be a compass in here, or a map. It's one of the two. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, watch out. Oh, cool, man. That was close. Alright, we got the compass. Good. Now we'll know where all the keys are. That'll help. Alright, stay over here. Ooh. Ah, damn it. Oh, good. Took me back to the start. Saved me time. I'll take that gladly. Alright, now that I got the compass, I can finally detect which treasure chests have the keys. And that one goes over there. Unfortunately, I can't get to it right now. Or maybe I can. No, I can't. I need the magnetic glove. Okay. Seems you need the magnetic glove for most of the rooms in this dungeon. So it looks like we're going to be finding them pretty early. Seeing as the dungeon's heavily based around this magnetic glove. Alright, we're going to go back. Uh, we're going to go into this room now. And there's another treasure chest with a key over there we got to get. Might as well see where this, uh, see where this path takes us. Alright, hack and slash. Okay, I'm going to go back in here. Oh, let me go in from here. There we go. Alright, let's hit the lever and go up to the north. Oh, come on, he had to throw me right on top of the Stalfos. Bob it. My god. This game just loves throwing me on top of enemies. Go away, Keese. You're not wrecking my day. Hey, got my first key. Alright, let's open up this treasure chest and we get a small key. Nice. Alright, can we exit out this way or not? No. We're completely sealed in. Alright, I gotta try to figure out where to go here. Alright, I'm gonna take this cart now. Go up here. Ah, crap, I missed the switch. I gotta hit that again. Right, kill you, kill you. Die. Now, I should've got that heart. Oh, well. Hit this switch. Alright, we're gonna change the track. And back in the cart, Link. We gotta keep on moving here. Alright, oh, hey, we got another key in here, but unfortunately, we don't have the men... The Metallic gloves or whatever. Magnetic glove, whatever it is. And I ran over the poor Helmosaur. Ha ha ha, I'm evil. Oh man, I really do not know where to go in this dungeon. I am lost. I'm guessing we gotta go on that other track, so let's go back. We're gonna have to hit the switch. I might have to go back and watch Bolt's part of this because I really do not remember how to get through this dungeon very well. Like I said, I have not played this game in, like, well over nine years. Alright, I think we're gonna go down this staircase here. Watch out for the fireballs coming out of those pipes. Sometimes two of them will fall at the same time, so it's kind of hard to anticipate when they'll stop. And watch out for the giant one-eyed thwumps. You want to ride them across this spike pit. Try not to get slammed by them if you can. Alright, we're gonna take the north. We're gonna take this path first and see where it goes. Okay, we got some bubbles and moldworms in here. Yeah, I'm sure you guys remember the bubbles from the original Zelda. Yeah, they do the same thing in this game. They get, you get hit by them, you lose your sword for a little while. So watch out. Yeah, pound that moldworm space in. Okay, we got a Gibdo. And some red souls. Let's clean them up. Alright, got rid of them. Come on, Gibdo. Come get some. Just gonna sit here and hack and slash them. And we get the map. Nice. Alright, let's go over to this room. Oh, we got nothing else in here. Alright, let's go into the left room then. From the main room we came out of. Alright, what do we got in here? I'm gonna take the northern path. Watch out for all those pea hats. They're all over. Do I want to jump down there right now? I'm not sure. Actually, I'm gonna go back to the staircase area. There were some crack blocks that we could bomb away and access another area. So we might as well see what that's all about. So let's get the bombs out. And blow these blocks away. I'm curious to see what's hidden over here. Alright, Link, let's go exploring. Alright, let me uh, get my rock's feather out. Yeah, watch out for those dragon head statues. They'll shoot fireballs at you. Just jump over them when you see them coming. Yeah, some of them can be pretty hard to dodge. Because they'll come out sporadically on you. Alright, now this is going to be tricky. Alright, I think we gotta push this. Uh, let me see. I think we gotta push this. 
left. Ooh, I see the issue here. Okay. You gotta push this on those a certain way. So if I push left, that one's gonna go right. So I wanna push right. Actually, no, we wanna push down. Then right. Ah, oh, crap, hang on a minute. Oh, actually, uh, I don't think I'll be able to. Maybe I, I don't know. Yeah, I'm not really used to this puzzle. Not very good at this. <laughs> Okay, push, okay. Oh, we're almost there. Oh crap. Ah, oh, stuck there. And I really am not good at this puzzle. Right, let me just keep pushing it down. Okay, push this down. Push this right. Push this up. Up. Nah, this is not gonna work. Oh man, this is gonna be this is gonna be hard as hell to do. Man, I don't know how to do this puzzle. Yeah, I might have to cut it off, folks, because I'm wasting way too much time on this puzzle. Oh, maybe I can get it. Hang on. All right, I think I have it. Aha! There we go. All right, I got it. All right, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna at least get as far as the magnetic gloves, and then I'm gonna have to cut it off because we're really, really, really getting down. Blech. We're really getting down there on time. Oh, cannot talk today. All right, let's get rid of these keys. We should be close to the magnetic gloves because I'm seeing these metal balls everywhere. I think it's over in the next room. Got to clear out all these Helmosaur wannabes and these Moldorm worms. That way we get the shutter door to go away. Bye. Oh, these friggin' homeless swords, I hate them. They always turn around at the last moment before you can hit them. You're such a bitch that way. I got him. Thank God he only died in one hit. Alright, uh, get the heart, Link. Need all of our health. Alright, that worm is dead. And now let's go over here. Okay, this... Oh, oh boy. Oh boy, yeah, better start over here. Alright, as you approach the armos, you gotta lay bombs and blow them up, so be careful. This room can be a little hard, too. Man. Can I stun these guys? I don't think I can. Yeah, this Armos moves really quick. Oh god, oh. He likes to follow you around too. Damn it. Oh, I really hate this. God, why is the bombs gonna why is these guys gonna take so many hits? It's so hard to time the bombs on these guys, it really is. Uh, I'm gonna be, you know what, folks? I'm going to cut it off here because i got to practice this next part. So stay tuned for Let's Play Legend of Zelda The Oracle of Seasons for the Game Boy Color Part 6 when we'll hopefully wrap up Level 5 Unicorn's Cave and progress the storyline. Later, peoples!